Today I wanted to talk about how dads can be part of, you know, the stay-at-home community. And I feel like with a lot of parenting, it's assumed that the women are going to do all the parenting and, you know, even if the women work full-time. So it's rare that you're going to see stay-at-home dads or dads that take an active role in domestic life, right? It's still considered the woman's domain, even though women are now expected to also work full-time. Um, so I thought kind of my five best tips for being a helpful stay-at-home, work-from-home, or just be around the home. Look at that little dad. So cute. <laughs> dad, because you know what? Everybody is needed in a family, right? The whole family unit has to be able to work together. And if one person feels like they're doing all the work, hey, be careful, my biscuit, then it's not a harmonious, happy family. And that makes such a difference. Oh, good, be gentle. You don't want to plop in, it's real muddy. Yuck, yuck. Oh, it's muddy and full of bitey creatures. Yeah, you don't want to fall in there. Then we wouldn't be able to go see the ducks in the duck lake. <laughs> so number one, is clean as you go. And that can be so hard because if you are tired, the kinds with big things that go bye bye bye, you know, you are tired, maybe you work full time, maybe you work part time, maybe you work different shifts or a couple jobs, and you know, when your kids throw something on the ground, you throw something on the ground, absolutely. Last thing you feel like doing is tidying as you go, but it makes a huge difference. And it makes it so that it's less of a burden for the other parent who's also doing the same thing more than likely. So pick up as you go, as easy as that is. And number two is to read, read, read. Watch, 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 study, study. See tips. You know, maybe a lot of it's geared to women. That's just, you know, the world we live in right now, right? But there's a lot of great content out there that will inspire you on what lunches to make for yourself and for your kids. Cleaning techniques, yeah? Here. Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't heard. We'll see. We're going to see if any other little friends were going to join us at the park. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> so do your research. And even if you think, this is silly, what am I looking up? There's so much good content and inspiration. That's a huge one for me is maybe I'm not doing exactly like the instructions say or exactly like that idea was, but it makes a huge difference on me when I get inspired. And that leads us to number three, which is making sure as a dad that you are doing self-care things to reinvigorate yourself, re-inspire yourself, and feel good about parenting and about being an active participant in being a dad, right? You can't fill up other people's cups with your own empty cup, right? Oh yeah, what did you find? So don't feel afraid to take time to re-energize and refocus yourself. It's not a selfish thing. It is part of them being a good caretaker. That's a big hole. I honestly don't know why there's a giant hole there. Maybe it's from a huge snake. Humongous. I mean, we're talking Godzilla size. Number four is learn to multitask as best you can. There's been a lot of studies that say women multitask better. Maybe that's true, but you can do a lot by managing your time with the outlook of multitasking. Put on the dryer while you wash the dishes. Um, scrub the sink while the kids are in the bathtub and you need to wash them anyway, right? It's small things. It doesn't have to overwhelm you. It's just kind of retooling the way you approach your idea of time management and of multitasking. And number five, is to just embrace the chaos and be happy and joyful. Hey, Bubba Goo. Number five, like I was saying, it's about embracing the chaos and the disorganization and doing the best you can to be joyful and loving because your kids would rather you be a loving, beautiful participant and partner to your mama or the other dad. Um, then that the house is perfect and the schedule is perfect and everybody does exactly what they're supposed to do at all times, right? So just relax, take it easy, enjoy. It is beautiful to be a dad. That's a wonderful gift to be given. Um, and it's really worth just taking the time to be in the moment. Have a good time, laugh over it. Laugh with your partner 
over the insanity. If you're doing it on your own, you know, laugh with yourself or watch the internet and laugh about what you see. Because <laughs> parenting is beautiful, whether it's from mamas or daddies. And I thought, you know, I know a lot of dads come to this channel and email me and are really appreciative, and I have great gratitude for that, of how nice it is to have someone talk to you and maybe it's normally only just talking to the moms. Um, so until next time, hey, check out all the links in my description box. It lists all the books that I write. It lists the blog and my Instagram. Um, and you can always follow along on both of those for more content. And until next time, thank you so much for subscribing and giving these a thumbs up and you know, being a part of our little YouTube family. Until next time. <laughs>